Hi friends, how you doing? Mr. C here. And welcome back to Spark Class. Today we're going to be starting something new and fun. Um, and it's going to be called Pushes and Pulls. We're going to do a whole unit on pushes and pulls. And so it's going to be really interesting to, to see. You played a little bit around with it on uh, last time we met. And uh, we're going to go into the actual learning and understanding of pushes and pulls. It's something that's going to be a big part of your life. Um, and as I said, <clears throat> excuse me, last class, is that when something is pushed, you're using your body or a piece of equipment to move it away from you. And when you pull, you're using that same energy to pull it closer to you, to move it closer to you. So we're going to do this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the slide presentation for you now. And I'm going to read everything for you so that you can see exactly what it is that you're supposed to be doing. And then when we're all done, you can go through it and actually move things around. And then when you're all done, turn it in. You guys have been doing a wonderful job turning things in. I'm so proud of you. And so this is what we're going to do. Remember, when you're all done, turn in that presentation so that I can see what a great job you did. Now, the first thing I want to tell you about is when you're looking at one of these slideshows that you do in Spark, if you look up here where it says present, that's going to take this little screen and fill your entire computer screen with it. And but the thing is, is that you can't move anything around when you're in present mode. You have to hit the escape key, which is in the upper left-hand corner of your keyboard. You have to hit that escape key. And when you do that, everything will shrink down and you can move things around on the screen. And I'll show you what I mean by that. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to click this present. And you'll see that, look at that. Now we've got the full screen. and um, so when I'm ready to move to the next screen, all that I have to really do is click my mouse and we'll be ready to go. So here we are on our first slide and this says, let's see what you already know about pushes and pulls. Now over here, you see a little kid with, it looks like some kind of maybe bookshelf or some kind of big box. And next to it, it says push or pull. And down here, we've got a little kid on a jungle gym and the same things. We've got a little girl climbing a rope, a little boy pushing a puppy in a wagon. We've got a hairspray, a can of hairspray, and a little girl going on vacation. And what you're going to be asked to do is you're going to ask to move little rings over. Now, here we are. I can't do anything when I'm in present mode. So I'm going to go over to my escape key. And I'm going to hit escape. And you're going to see that now I've gone out of escape mode. And I can take these little rings and I can move them. You see? Look at that. I just moved it. When you see that little plus sign in the center, that means you can move it. If you come down to a corner and you see a little arrow like that, uh-oh, that means you're going to change the ring. You don't want to do that. You want to see that plus sign. And once you see the plus sign with four arrows, you're ready to pull it over and put it anywhere you want. You can just cover it like that. And then you can do the next one. Then you can do the next one. Then you can do the next one. Now, the next slide is going to actually, you're going to be able to check your work to see if, um, if you did all right. Oh, by the way, down here, it, this just tells you what I already tell, told you. This says, exit present mode to complete this activity. Drag the red circles over the correct answers for each picture. And that's what we just did. So I'm going to click real quickly over the next one because I don't want you to see the answers. <laughs> oh, whew. Now this says, this is an important question. What is force and how does it impact your daily life? That's a good question. What is force? And how do you use force every day? Because you do, you use force every single day in your lives. And so what this is going to do is if you click on this video, you're going to be able to see exactly what force is and how it affects your everyday life. And then here's another little activity. 
This says pushes and pulls check-in. So we went back one slide and we learned a little bit about pushes and pulls and force. And now we're going to see if we learn something. So up here where it says fill in the missing words, a force is a blank, could be one of these two, or a blank, right? And you're going to learn that in the video. So pay attention when it tells you it is either one, this or this. And I'll give you a little hint. It's in the title of the slideshow. So then what you're going to do is you're going to take these pictures and this one says opening and closing a door. So this is both opening and closing. And then you would click on that. And once you see those that plus sign, right, with the four arrows, then you can drag it, right? You see what I just did? You can drag it. You're going to drag it over to either say, hmm, opening and closing a door. Is that a push? Is that a pull? Or is it both? You see, this last column is for things that are both pushes and pulls. And so then you do the same thing with the little girl climbing a rope, zipping and unzipping your coat. Hmm, two things there. I wonder what that could be. Then drawing. Now, my face is in the way of the rest here. So I'm, I'm just going to let you go on unless I wonder if I can. Oh, look at that. I can move myself. Hello. Um, I love that. I just learned that. Um, so you have drawing. This is kicking a ball, and this one is tying your shoes. So you're going to take these six boxes here, these six pictures, and you're going to, once you see that little crosshair there, that little plus sign with the arrows on it, you're going to click on it, hold it down, and drag it to where you want it to go. Okay? I'm going to drag, drag it back so it doesn't mess up your slideshow. And then that's pretty much it. Then we're here. It says at the very end, it says, great job today, everyone. Don't forget to click the turn in button for this lesson in our Google Classroom. And there's a little picture of the turn in. So I hope this makes sense to everybody. And know, friends, that I am here. If you need to reach out, you can reach out to me with your comments. You can email me. Um, we had that little hiccup the other day. And I heard right from you, and it was great because I was able to fix it. So I'm very glad, and I will see you tomorrow.